Are you okay? What's wrong? You didn't do the intro. You just growled and That was my intro. That was it. A report came out that Roku might be doing something that some might call nefarious. Are they getting some Google Chromecast on my Apple TV on my PlayStation Xbox streaming service? No. In fact, the opposite. They filed a patent for a way to hijack your HDMI port what? of like your Xbox yeah, yeah, yeah. or your Apple TV, whatever, okay. and show you ads while your game is paused. Wait, hold on. Let me just wrap my head so, on that for a second. Okay. If you're unfamiliar with the way that cheap TVs, aka basically all of them, work, they don't really make money selling you hardware. No one makes money between shipping costs and everything like that. Like, there's almost no margin in TVs. And manufacturers instead make money trying to sell you ads. This has been a thing for years where pretty much every smart TV, unless you carefully turn everything off in the settings. Now, I don't want to sit here on my in my glass house throwing stones here. Like obviously, there's nothing wrong with ads. So how we support this is an overclock and everything yep. like that. But the TV space has been, shall we say, especially scummy. First, I want to disclaim that there is the report is not that Roku will be doing this. That is not the case. They're filing a patent that they're exploring this option. Clearly, they're thinking about it. If they can pull right. it off, they will. So the idea would be like, all right, if you have like a Roku smart TV yep. and you plug in your Xbox, mm -hmm. whatever secret sauce they're doing would yeah. know that you've paused your game and then say, you know what? Ads. There's not a whole lot of detail on it, sure, but like my guess is looking for like a, you know, static frames. There's a lot to unpack here that has a lot of like weird implications. That's going to piss off obviously mm -hmm. the consumer. People are going to think it's actually like the Xbox sure. ads or something. Right, yeah. exactly. Who do you think is going to get pissed off then when if Netflix is not getting any of their ad revenue? So if you're watching Netflix yeah. on the PlayStation or something and then you pause your show and your TV starts playing you ad ads, Whoa. it's Roku Holy. who's getting that money and wow. no, you're no longer on that platform. Right. But then what happens if using their fancy AI frame recognition software, they accidentally, I don't know, show me an ad in the middle of a cutscene or something. Well, it's gotta be perfect. But again, even if it's perfect, they would be starting a war, I think, between all the other platforms. Because if Roku starts doing it, yeah. everyone else is gonna try and do something similar. Because again, like you say, no one's, no one's getting money on the hardware. They're getting money on showing you ads on you their platform. What? I turn off the Wi-Fi on my smart TVs, mm -hmm. and instead I rely on a set-top box, either a Google Chromecast or an Apple TV. And I'm quite happy with that experience, right? It's, it's quite solid, I don't really have problems. My mom has a Fire TV, and she got one of the, like, I think she went on Amazon, sorted by like cheapest, most expensive, yep. bought the cheapest thing. The amount of ads that that thing yep. crams all the time for I have a Roku TV, and it's just, it's, it's it is ads, ads, ads. Wild. Even the non-cheap brands, yeah. like LG, when yeah. they updated WebOS, your Bad icons bottom. are this big on the thing, and then it's just, ads there is a level of i'm gonna call it reluctant consent if you're watching like tv or whatever yeah. or you sign up for netflix with ads you are agreeing to that bargain sure but now what we're getting is non-consensual ads you're getting them shoved down your throat in areas that we wouldn't <laughs> can we, hang on, can we I, use some different phrasing i, <laughs> I don't like any of like, what you're saying can we just maybe rephrase this a little bit we have to be a little careful with this conversation because again yeah. we're gonna have ads in yeah, this video exactly right like, so like, like that's we, how we pay the bill and there's nothing against a company paying their bills using ads like i, I have no problem with that my main concern is first of all when people don't understand what they're getting. You know, when you buy a TV and it's full of ads, you don't understand why, because the fine print, oftentimes when you set up a TV, if you look through any of that, is horrifying. Yeah. But the other thing is, this is like kind of taking it a step above. Because obviously they control the entire experience when you're in the smart TV. But as soon as you switch over to HDMI, you know, it's hands off. They don't know. The fact that they're trying to hijack your existing system, that seems incredibly nefarious. Now, this reminds me of, uh, what was it, uh, Telly? We did a video on this last year, which was a service that would basically give you a free TV that had a little like secondary display that was specifically for ad. That, even though it's a little creepy, that but was like, a you're free TV. you're signing up for that. Yes, like, hey, and, like, give me this, please. The problem I'm having with this is we're seeing this everywhere. All these tech startups are realizing <laughs> that VC money has dried up. You're like, oh, we're going to reinvent this, 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 and this. And every company, they're realizing, oh, wait, the reason TV was the way it was was because that was the way you made money. And now yeah. they're trying to justify 
putting themselves as a middleman yeah. for TV. They can't make money on this. Yeah, like the market determines, you know, if, if people can buy a cheaper TV, they're gonna buy a cheaper TV. Right. And like you and I who are watching this video may be enthusiasts and want, you know, an OLED or, or you know, whatever the case is. But like, ultimately most people walk around Best Buy and they see a 299 TV and go, sweet, 65 inches, let's go. Without really thinking about, I don't say the consequences, but like sort of the trade-offs. My concern is much more so about like, okay, obviously companies are gonna try and make money when they can make money. And if this means that the next road Roku TV you buy is $20 cheaper than last year's model, then hallelujah, people are all excited about it. But I think that this sort of <laughs> opens a really uncomfortable can of worms where it's like, if your HDMI is not even safe, right? Where they're gonna your be constantly external injecting- external device. Yeah, like you're gonna have concerns where if it's remotely less than perfect, which there's no way it will be, that's gonna be super annoying. And on top of that, ick. There's definitely this prevailing sort of wisdom at the moment that even if you're paying for a streaming service, you're gonna get some ads with it. That's actually not weird in a historical context. Right, you uh, paid for cable, you saw You paid ads. for cable. This is where this is different, okay? I, th I think a lot of people forget this. So when you are paying for cable, yep. is less about the networks themselves yes. and the content, but it's the infrastructure. Every network gets a cut. So not only do the networks make money yeah. by, you know, obviously running ads and stuff, but also the cable company has to pay. Disney and ESPN are getting a very sizable chunk of that just for the carriage fee. The problem is, is that TV, as we've seen, has been shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And more and more people are spending time on online platforms such as YouTube. And this is specifically, I've heard the market share is skyrocketing. The subscriptions are off the charts. When we go public, I'm, we're gonna be trillionaires. You have all these streaming platforms that are are supported. You're paying for it, and it's like, oh, yeah. we're gonna do you know a, a cheaper thing as supported. Okay, whatever. But I'm paying for a no ad version of say like Paramount. <laughs> what? You pay for Paramount? Yeah, Plus? it's got all the Star Treks. I have not had Netflix in like three years. <laughs> you got Paramount Plus and not Netflix, but yeah, dude. I got HBO and I got okay. Paramount. Well, you got the non ad version. You get ads? No, I get previews. Which I don't care. Oh. I don't care what you say. A preview is an ad. To me, that is false advertising, and it's just ad creep. Streaming platforms are gonna start getting tears. I guarantee you. In the future, yeah. it's gonna start being like more of a a la carte. You guys subscribe to this. I'll take a second and just realize that we went from cable to everything splitting off, being a bunch of cheap little subscriptions, and now it is just reglobulating. Right, because every because all these companies are realizing, oh wait, we need more money we, than we, that. Tech companies should have looked at. Yeah. Uh, movie pass and saw that that was the problem right there. Oh, but it was so popular when it came out. Yeah, because they were literally losing money. Losing money. Yeah, that's it, everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's so cheap. I'm gonna go use them. It's not sustainable. Yeah. We're seeing it with yeah. Uber right now. I used to like take an Uber to the to the bar. It was like two dollars, three dollars. Now it's, I'm like it's like twenty dollars. I'm like yep. what? Yep. And now that they have to pay, you know, healthcare and benefits <laughs> to people, they're like, oh wait, no. Actually, we're gonna be more expensive than taxis ever were to begin with. This is the big problem I have with a lot of tech companies. This is not gonna be popular with oh. a lot of people. Everyone, wait, like, wait, 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 don't, don't say it. Everyone, take your guesses at home. Matt's about to say something unpopular. Is it gonna be about A, pogs? B, no. cloud streaming? Or C, some toilet related joke that we're gonna have to fast forward? No, none of those. Oh, wow, okay, what's the answer? All these tech companies, Yeah are paying massive salaries to developers to uh -huh. figure out all these ways to squeeze uh -huh. all the money out of people. The return on the investment of trying, like having an army of developers. Yeah, well, they that's why they, them all. What are you that's why they, that's why they did. Oh. Because they realized like, oh wait, if we're paying every developer half a million dollars and then we're not making <laughs> You actually, like any money, but this is what happened 10 years ago with like Netflix and whatnot. We're gonna revamp everything. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna reinvent the system. And then they brought on all these developers. They keep reinventing the wheel all these times saying like, well, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? And then Netflix, I think got a little too big for their britches where they uh, were starting just like, oh, we're gonna fund everything so we can have it on our platform. Yeah. But I would say also the other kind of side of Netflix, not only did they rebuild the system, but they made it in a way that like, how many Netflix shows get canceled immediately because because they want to avoid paying residuals. They're trying to c shave that off in any way they can and it's not working and it's just making a worse product. Yeah. That's, that's what we're seeing. We're just seeing like paying more and more and more for things and then getting a shittier product. So I know a lot of people yeah. 
complain about the amount of ads on YouTube. But YouTube, I would argue, is consistently getting better and better every day as a whole. The ads on the YouTube, like, you know, there's some problematic ads, whatever. Like, well, there's a lot, like, I think. Is yeah, right. Yeah. But like, YouTube is still free. Yes, it is. There's very few platforms yeah. that are still free. Yeah. Look, we're really biased here, uh, obviously, for many, many reasons. But I actually agree with you. I, I think... YouTube is an easy platform to make fun of, yeah. but you think about the wealth of content on this platform, the fact that YouTube hosts anything and everything for free, it is wild how and expensive that really has to be. So like, you know, it's a, a much different thing when you're comparing like, okay, ads on say like a streaming platform versus yeah. ads on YouTube, because ads on YouTube is directly supporting the creators. Yes. Now, yes. obviously there's some problematic things of like, oh, if you're less than, if you're not in the partner program, they still show ads, that creator doesn't get it. Yeah. I get that. If you're seeing three, four ads on streaming platforms like Netflix, that's not supporting the team that made that. That's yeah. supporting Netflix. That's the whole reason actors went on strike. Coming back around to yeah. the, the Roku thing. This is the, one of the slipperiest slopes I've seen in tech in a long time. If one company is going to do do something like this, every yes, company is going to start I trying agree. to do this. It's all just going to create a significantly worse experience for yes. you. You remember uh, 15 million merits from yes, Black Mirror? Yes, of course. They're in the room, and if he closes his eyes, it starts. Eh, eh, eh. It forces you to watch the ad. Yeah. How many TVs have? cameras on them already it's just doing eye tracking and then it will it'll know when you close it and it, it won't play all of our devices are becoming more and more connected what if it yeah. starts saying oh you're watching on on tv i'm gonna push it to your phone these conversations in the in the theoretical realm are always you know feel like they're one step but they're terrifying no but like if you go back in time 10 15 years and you try to describe what's normal mm -hmm. today i think a lot of people will be like what really you you're okay with your phone tracking you everywhere you go I'm like ah, of course yeah, yeah yeah there's a lot of things like that that become standardized really quickly but there's a convenience to it yeah 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 the what, what's is, the convenience yes yeah, that's exactly it and i think at a certain point 20 dollars off a tv yeah, yeah yeah exactly right i think most people watching this video are probably a little bit more of a discerning sort of customer there's a certain point in which You've got to vote with your wallets and you've got to buy something that might be a little bit more expensive because you know that it's either going to give you a better experience, it's a better piece of tech, or it's just simply going to support a better business model than something else out there. Now, we that shouldn't be too hard on Roku because I, I, I want to be really clear. This is a patent filing. Lots yes. of companies file yes. crazy patents all the time. Hopefully... Uh, this doesn't happen. If it were to happen, I would be a little concerned because it feels very sort of in your face. So my problem with your line of thinking there is where do we vote with our wallet nowadays? Because my nice LG TV, which I paid for, yeah. I'm still getting the ad. Well, I turn the Wi-Fi off on my TV, so I just sure. use the set-top box, sure. which I can control a little bit more. But here's a different problem there at all. Yeah. Also, the reason I switched to using the TV yeah. is because that was the only place that had all the apps I wanted to use at the time. So the whole reason I got an Apple TV at one point was because MLB.TV is how mm. I watch baseball was not available on the t on TV. So the fact that there's, if there's, as long as there's one app that doesn't work for you, sure. that's a problem. And the reason that app doesn't work for you is because of licensing. And they say, like, oh, well, it's too much money to put over here. Sure. And we're going to have to raise our rates on this. You're I'm just, cranky. I, I was say, you're just in grumpy mode right now. Because yeah, technology is not doing what it sh should be doing. I miss like, the days where my magical wonder slab that lived in my bucket all day would make no. me happy and not sad. This is why I like the 90s. It was simpler. Back, it it was simpler. Back. Here's what we need to do. Yeah, go ahead. Electromagnetic pulse. <laughs> EMP. No! no! We're going back to the Stone Age, baby. How am I supposed to subscribe to the Zissus channel and ringling the ding -ling button if I don't got no internet? Mail us in your subscribe button. We'll send you back a VHS of every new This Is video for low, low price of $69.99 a month. Like, follow, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. And please, please, please have a good day and watch out for your HDMI's to be hijacked.